another great day. All right. This is the story of how I realized I am 100% American. I'm an American citizen. So I grew up here in Southern California and during elementary, middle school, high school, college, kids would always ask, hey, what are you? Hey, what are you? And it was never enough for me to say I'm American. They would always ask, well, where are your parents from? And I would have to finally say, well, they're from the Philippines. I'm American. My parents are from the Philippines. Um, and instead of going through that whole dance, I would just cut through the chase when people would ask me, hey, what are you? I would just go, hey, I'm, I'm Filipino. I understand, they wanna know, when someone asks me, hey, what are you? They wanna know where are my eyes from, right? Because my eyes share a similar slant <laughs> to people from Japan, China, Korea, Vietnam, maybe Thailand, right? So people are asking, hey, what are you? So I would say Filipino. And that's how it was from elementary, even to, even to now, even, even to now. All right, but I really realized that I am, I am like American. I realized this when I was t around 20 around 20 uh, 1999 my dad took me to the Philippines and if you've never been to the Philippines you're missing out on some awesome tropical weather <laughs> think of the humidity there is amazing think of New York and just magnify that by 10 times the minute they open the door to the airplane the airplane it just hits you BAM the humidity is amazing so anyways, I'm in the Philippines and my dad says, you should check out the colleges here just so you understand what it's like to grow up Filipino here in the Philippines. So my dad wants to enroll me in college. In Ant it's Antipolo La Salle. He wants, to, he wants me to go to college there for a couple of weeks during our, our stay in the Philippines. So I attend college in the Philippines and I kid you not, I am so used to just living in a melting pot here in Southern California that when I went to class in the Philippines, I was just amazed that everyone there was Filipino. I was like, oh wow, this is where my DNA is from. So I'm in class and I remember a kid turns around and he asked me, hey, where are you from? Right? And I'm I've had that question before here in Southern California when I was in elementary school, middle school, high school. Hey, where are you from? But this time I'm in the Philippines and I wanted to say, uh, what are you talking about? I'm Filipino. We're, we're here in the Philippines, right? And when he asked me that, hey, where are you from? I was thinking, man, I, I'm from California. I'm an American, right? Because he wouldn't have accepted the answer, I'm Filipino. When I go to the Philippines, the people there, they won't accept, they won't accept the answer, Phil, I'm Filipino. They're like, no way, you are American, all right? So, just traveling, traveling the world will really open up your eyes to the different cultures and for me who I am so when I was in the Philippines when I was uh, around 19 20 19 or 20 years old that's when I really took note to being American because the people over there they didn't they wouldn't accept the answer I'm Filipino right over there I'm American and then over here in California, I get to be Filipino American. Um, but I guess the real time I really realized that I'm American 
is uh, when I did the Ironman in Hawaii and I was looking at the waves and somebody asked me, hey, why are the waves so high? <laughs> because in Hawaii, I'm a local. In Hawaii, I can pass for a local. So, just if you don't think about traveling, if you're not, if traveling isn't on your bucket list, traveling should be on your to-do list. To travel to different places, to travel to different countries because there's so many different cultures and you're never gonna realize and identify who you are until you travel. Take living in um, Los Angeles, right? I grew up just outside of Los Angeles. So when, you grew, when I grew up here, all my education is here from elementary to college. It's all here, Southern California, um, around the Los Angeles area. I never really had to say, hey, I'm, I'm from LA, I'm from LA. But when I moved to Fresno, California, right, my whole identity of being, hey, I'm from LA, started to come out. Because when you travel, you have to take where you grew up with you. And then you get to really realize who you are when you travel. So it was a real eye opener when I traveled to the Philippines of just how American I am. I, man, I am 100% totally American. Um, my accent speaks for itself. Everyone, by the way, has an accent. A lot of people think they don't have an accent, but if I went to, if I went to Ireland, let's say I go to Ireland right now, they're gonna, even though we both speak English over there, they're gonna know I'm not from Ireland, right? Or let's say I go to London, right? Now, if I go to London, I have, the, I have an accent. So just remember, everyone has an accent. And to truly know your accent, you have to travel. To really understand where your accent is from, man, you have to travel. You are missing out on a big part of who you are if you do not travel. All right. By the way, you wanna hear a funny story? When I was in the Philippines, this was when I was single, when I was a single man. I was at a, a bar club and I saw this Filipino girl. And so I walked over to her and I thought I was gonna impress her with my, uh, with my English and just, actually I thought I was gonna impress her with my athletic prowess, but also my English. So I walk over to her and I said, hey, where are you from? What part are you from? But like, what part of the, what, what city are you from? And she said, with like a heavy accent, she said, I'm from Maryland. And I thought, Maryland, USA? And she said, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Anyways. If you made it this far into the video, eight minutes and 40 seconds into the video, I wanna talk about something that can actually change your life. This will actually affect your life. It's not just an earning story. Exercise makes everything better, okay? After you run 10 miles and you take a shower, that's gonna, that shower feels a lot better than if you just end the day without exercising and then you take a shower the exercise makes the showering feel better same with food if you go run for five if you go run for five miles if you run and you exercise and then you you eat an apple that apple is going to taste a lot better compared to not exercising